Hello and welcome to another video. I hope that you're all very well. Is your driving instructor allowed to sit in the back of your driving test? Well, the short answer is yes, definitely. In fact, you're allowed to take anyone age 16 or over. This person does not even have to have a full driving license. So you're free to take your driving instructor if you wish, or alternatively, you can take your partner, you can take a relative or even a friend. Furthermore, this person that you take with you to the driving test can even help you with opening the bonnet of the car if you are struggling with it. This is provided that the person does not interfere unnecessarily. The person you take, when they sit in the back, ideally, well, there's no rule as to where they should sit, but ideally they should sit behind the candidate so it's less intrusive. Apart from helping you to open the bonnet, there are several other advantages of taking your driving instructor or anybody else for that matter with you on the driving test. Firstly, there's the reassurance. Having, having a familiar face around can be both reassuring and comforting, especially if that person has been with you in your driving lessons, has been with you in your journey of learning to drive. This can be a huge advantage especially if you suffer from nerves just before a test or an interview. Secondly, having a driving instructor or anybody else who has played a part of your learning to drive can be a memory trigger. For example, when you're going to move off, you check your mirrors and you may see the person sitting in the back and remember, oh yes, this person is always telling me not to rely solely on the mirrors. They're always telling me I need to check my blind spot safety check and that will trigger the blind spot safety check. Furthermore, this person that you have sitting in the back can make notes, can take notes of your, your mistakes. So if you were unfortunate enough to fail your driving test, then this person will be able to provide you with additional feedback to the feedback that the examiner gives you. Also, the person will be able to record where the mistake happened. So after the driving test, you can drive back to the same location and you can see the layout of the road and you can see exactly where the mistake was made, which will help you to improve next time. Those were some of the advantages of taking your driving instructor or anybody else for that matter with you on your driving test. Are there any disadvantages? Well, yes. Unfortunately, like all things in life, there are both advantages and disadvantages. One of the disadvantages of taking somebody with you in the driving test is that there's added pressure that you have to perform your best for that person, not for yourself, that's added pressure that you do not want to let that person down. Secondly, some learner drivers get nervous when they note, when they notice that the examiner is watching each and every single move that they make. Having an extra pair of eyes watching you from the back may just add to those nerves. And finally, there's the extra weight in the back. You may not, in your driving lessons, you may not be used to having a third person in the car. So even if you take your driving instructor, your driving instructor will always be sitting in the front passenger seat and you won't be used to looking at him through the rear view mirror. So that may cause added pressure, added nerves.
It is important to understand whether somebody accompanies you on your driving test or not. The decision is ultimately yours. Do not allow your driving instructor to influence you or anybody else for that matter. It is your driving test. You are paying for it and the decision is yours. If you do decide that you do want somebody to accompany you on your driving test, there are some rules which must be followed. First and most importantly, the person must stay quiet throughout the driving test. They are not allowed to talk in the driving test or even at the end during the debrief. So while the examiner is giving the debrief, the person must not interfere with that either. Secondly, the person sitting in the back must not unnecessarily move their body around. For example, if just before the driver is going to move off from a parked position, this person moved their whole body to look around behind them to see what was coming, the examiner may consider this as cheating. The examiner would say that uh, you're hinting, you're communicating with the driver and under those circumstances, the driving examiner can terminate the driving test. So it will be marked as a fail and the examiner will just leave the car where it is and simply walk back to the driving test center. Mobile phones, um, laptops, iPads must all be switched off. The person can take notes, but they must be done pen and paper quietly. Furthermore, the person must not record the examiner's voice. So recording devices must be switched off. It's against the law to record the driving examiner's voice or record inside the car while the test is being conducted. If you did want to record um, outside the car with a dash cam for insurance purposes or even for the purpose of uh, seeing the route and going over it yourself, then you're most welcome to do so but the sound must be switched off and the inside camera must also be off if you have a driving test whether you choose to take your driving instructor with you or not i wish you the very best of luck with your driving test uh, if you found this video beneficial please share it with at least one person and that will help me to expand the channel Thank you very much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.